Hey, hey, see you in church. Hi, I'm Manuel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a little message, put the hand up. I do it right away because I have the tendency to forget and I won't return. And let me know something you think I should talk about. I was watching Prince Harry on TV and hearing the horrible, horrible stuff that people are saying about him from over the seas. And I just can't believe that. But I kept thinking and thinking and thinking and he is going on his mother's road again. It's not a bad thing. But it's what's happening. If you are young or old enough, you can remember our princess, his mother. She was the princess who married Prince Charles. And he betrayed her by cheating on her. He gave her two beautiful children. But he wanted some old lady, and he married her. And instead of the monarchy wrapping their arms around her and taking care of her and protecting her, they threw her to the dogs. The world wraps their arms around her, and she did the same. She forced the monarchy to remove the mines that the children had to walk through to get to school and were getting blown up. So she decided to walk with them, and they removed the mines finally because they did not want to be seen in that light. But it shouldn't have taken that to protect these children. She shared her love with the world. And when she was taken, the world cried with her children or without her children because we're hearing they were told not to cry. How awful to tell children that they don't have to write to cry for their beloved mother. I don't know. I feel so sad for what he's going through because when he needed help there was no help for him till he married and found this woman who pulled the monarchy's te tentacles off of him and now they're free to get help, to become who they are supposed to be. And the stones are getting thrown. This world today is a hard world. It's harder than before. Why? Because before you could fight back. Now you say Boo to the wrong person and the world goes after and rips you to shreds. You see it on YouTube constantly. You see these poor people getting torn to shreds for no reason. And the evil is allowed. You see... Diana's 
beautiful son running away from the pain. And now he's looking at the pain to save his family, to keep his family from moving into another hurt, but now into only love. Because Diane did all she could do with no help. And he's lucky enough he has a wife And to be safe, they had to run to America. It's just so sad that his brother cannot understand, but it's because he's trapped. He'll be the next king. And he has no choice. But now we have our, we had our princess Diane, and now we have our prince Harry, the world's prince. Now the world has to fight for him and protect him like he started doing for others like his mother did. We see him sitting there with children with his shoes off and having a great time showing them that the world can be a better place and should be just like his mother the love just spilling over into the world through these two wonderful, loving people. And we can't let this world destroy him like they did his mother. We have to fight for him. We have to talk out for him. Because he has a family. And some great friends like Oprah. Who had to do some fighting of her own. And for other people too. We need to... Start showing the love just like they are doing instead of these awful cancel this, cancel that. Nowadays, you can't say boo without some idiot trying to cancel somebody. We should be protecting, not destroying. We already had our destroying president here and he's gone. And now these people are trying to push this fake cure. Just like when AIDS was first started, they had that fake cure, which only took lives like this virus has taken life. Like this serum shot has taken lives. If it's taking lives, it is not a good product. I'm sorry. And it's not a cure. People are acting like, oh, it's a cure. It's not a cure. It doesn't protect you from anything. You can still get the virus. But it's a lighter version. Just like what they said with the flu shot. You would have had a worse version if you had gotten sick. Well, in my case, I stopped doing the flu shot and stopped getting the flu. Stopped getting sick. And now this one's here and they're saying the same thing about this and a bunch of lies around it. I'm sorry. It doesn't put a force field around you. 
you don't have a cure and you can be a carrier even with the shot. So no thank you. And here we are again, people trying to destroy a beautiful young man and his family because he won't shut up. He's trying to help the world. If you need help, go get it before you lose your lives. He's trying to make a stronger tomorrow because you're surely not doing it. We're not forcing our president to throw out this serum and force the drug companies to make a cure, not a bandage. But what do you think? Are you going to go get that shot? Are you still going to continue to play Russian roulette with your life? Because that shot's not going to protect you. It's going to give you a little tiny protection, maybe. But your stick can get it. I don't understand why you don't hear that. But let me know by subscribing to my channel. Leave a little message. Put the hand up to let me know you were there. And let me know what you think about all of this. Do you think it's okay that they're still playing Russian roulette with your life with this drug? Because the drug isn't a real protector. The way they're acting. I will still be wearing my mask. Cleaning my hands constantly. But remember, AA, see you in church.